hi friends here we are you're welcome back to my channel please this is not drawn to scale now in this particular question this is a rectangle and this is a square and we are told that the area of the triangle and the area of the square are equal so um the question says we should find the side of the square so how do we go about it first of all let us read the mind of the examiner. Why did the examiner give us the area that why is the area of this triangle equal to area of the square? So first of all, area of triangle, we are going to start from there, is equal to area of the square. All right. Now, remember that area of a triangle is half base times height an area of a square should be x squared that is length squared since the length is x all right now the question is the only problem we have here now is how to get the base and height of this triangle and first of all remember that this is a square though not drawn to scale so if from here to here is x then from here to here is x as well all right now if from here to here is 30 then from here to here let's name this a b c d okay so let's call this place e all right so if ad is 30 so if ad is 30 and od is x od is x then ae is what ad minus od so ae is equal to ad minus od so it means that length AE is equal to our uh, AD is 30 minus our uh, OD is X. So we can write that AE is 30 minus X. All right, perfect. Now, what do we do next? I want us to draw out triangle, draw out this particular shape a e b o let's call this o even though this is not the center of this diagram but let's call it o okay so let's draw a b e o the shape a b o e okay let's draw this shape out because that shape is very important so if we draw it out we have something like this we have something like this, like this, and like this. So this is what we have, B, A, E, O. That is exactly what we have here. Okay? And this is the shaded portion. And we want to get the area of this triangle. Okay? Triangle A, B, O. Then from here to here is 20. According to our diagram, is 20. Then from here to here, AE is 30 minus X. 30 minus X. All right. Now, remember that area of a triangle is half base times height. So it's going to be equal to the area. But the problem here is if we turn this triangle, if we turn it this way, if we turn it anti clockwise, okay so we are going to have a shape in this form the base will be here which is a b okay this a b we turn like this all right then this side will be b o this b o right so we have b o so this is o then this o e will come here will become here so this place will be OE. Then this side will be 
our AB. Okay, so this will be AB. Sorry, AE. So we are going to have something like this. This is our triangle. Now, the base or the area of this triangle, like I said, is half base times height, which is equal to half multiplied by, now the base is AB, and AB is 20. The height is AE, and AE is 30 minus X. Okay, so we have 20 multiplied by 30 minus X. So this we divide this, we have 10. So area is 10 bracket 30 minus X. So back to the question. Remember that we are looking for X and half base times height, which happens to be the area of this triangle is equal to X squared, okay? So we can write 10 bracket 30 minus X, which is the area of the triangle is equal to X squared. Now, 10 times 30 is 300. 10 times x is 10x is equal to x squared. Now, let's rearrange. If we rearrange, we have x squared. Then this will cross to become plus 10x. And this will cross to become minus 300 is equal to 0. Now, if you look at this, you will notice that we have a quadratic equation at hand. And the way to solve this is using the quadratic equation formula that states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So we have x is equal to, then our a is... A is quotient of x squared, which is 1. B is quotient of x, which is 10. C is a constant, which is minus 300. Please click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us. Give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. And please, always turn at your convenience. You must see something new to watch by the grace of God. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to write our last statement. Here is what we are doing. We got x squared plus 10x minus 300 is equal to 0. Our a is 1, our b is 10, and our c is minus 300. And we are using the quadratic equation formula that states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So our x is minus 10 plus or minus square root of 10 squared minus 10, 4 multiplied by a is 1 and c is minus 300. Everything divided by 2, okay? So we have that x is equal to minus 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 4 times this will give us minus 1,200, everything divided by 2. So our x is minus 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus minus is plus plus 1,200 divided by 2. So x is minus 10 plus or minus square root of, we can factorize 100 out. When 100 divides 100, we have 1 plus 1,200 divided by 100, we have 12. Okay, divided by 2. So our x is minus 10 plus or minus square root of 100 bracket 13 divided by 2. So we have x is minus 10 plus or minus. So we can express this as square root of 100 multiplied by square root of 13 divided by 2. So we have x to be equal to minus 10 plus or minus. Square root of this is 10 root 13 divided by 2. So that means we are going to have 
two different um um and two different values of x so it's going to be minus when this divide is divided by this we have minus 5 plus or minus this divided by this is 5 root 13 so our x1 is minus 5 plus 5 root 13 and our x2 is minus 5 minus 5 root 13 now if you press both of them in your calculator Without being told, this will give us a negative solution. And you know that our length cannot be negative. So this will give us a positive solution, which is approximately 13.03 units. And that is our X. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.